it updated and now I'm going to click create new event and we're going to put some information here so we're going to put the event name contact email address phone number now just note this contact email address is the email address if you guys are going to use the boarding pass feature where a unique barcode and email is sent to each guest this it's going to actually mask it so if I put in here justin at gmail.com the email is going to come from justin at gmail.com so just note that so I'm going to go ahead and fill this out one two three test event we're going to continue filling this out for location when you put in this information this information is actually going to show up um, on the actual PDF ticket with that unique barcode if you're using that option so just note that and make sure that location I'll put the location name and the address whatever you feel comfortable with you don't have to put a location or you have to put something in for a location but if it's um, to be determined you could put TBD then go ahead and just fill out the start and end dates okay got that in there now for upload photo this is more the event photo so if you have an invitation um, image this would be the best thing to put in there so I'm gonna go ahead and find there we go and if you want to check this to make it public that means it's gonna show in all of our public listings I'm gonna make this one private and not show it so I'm gonna click add and there we go it uploaded this is all the information if you need to edit anything you can always click edit and go back and it'll go back to that screen so we're gonna go back and there's the information okay so now we want to upload guests